Okay, so a couple of uh, things to get to right off the bat. It looks like um, Braden Point is going to be out to, what is it, four to six weeks now with a, uh, what is it, a lower body injury, upper body? Either way, he's going to be out four to six weeks. So that puts a damper on things because now I have three skaters on my bench and two of them are on IR. So that doesn't help any. And, of course, uh, Brock Nelson, who I got who I got rid of, what was that, a week or two ago, is also on the IR. So the only guy on my bench that I can play right now is Eric Carlson. And, yeah, so because I did pick up the two goalies. So we'll see what happens there. Um, full day of games today. Just about the only guys that don't play are Steven Stampagos, Tampa Bay, and Patrick Kane. Um, so, yeah, uh, still in first by 20-something points. Oh, there it was a switch between second and third, so that's cool. Um, wanted to um, actually update you guys on some of my findings here. First, if you guys need forward help, um, I think there's, a, there's like three or four guys right off the top here that um, you may want to consider. Uh, number one is Nazim Kadri, 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 Nazim Kadri. Uh, he's a center on uh, Colorado Avalanche. Now he's got 23 points in 15 games, and he's never had more than six. Well, he's had more than 60 once in 2016, 2017. Um, before that, he had 55 points in 2017, 2018. Essentially, other than that, nothing. You know, nothing higher than that. He had 32 points in 56 games last year, and the year prior he had 36 and 51. So he's got 23 and 15 now. So obviously he's, you know, playing out of his mind. He's got six goals and 17 assists. Uh, Colorado's next five games are at home against Anaheim, at Dallas, at home against Nashville, and then at Toronto and at Montreal. And then if you go out farther, that at Ottawa, at Philly, and at the Rangers. But he might be a, uh, a good pickup if you're, you know, looking for maybe some short-term help. I don't know how, how, how much help he's going to do you in the long term. But in the short term, he is obviously playing out of his mind right now. So that's something for you guys to consider. Uh, the next guy is Mikhail Granlund. I really hope I'm pronouncing these guys' names right. Uh, Mikel Granlund, he's in Nashville. He was a ninth pick in, in 2010, so obviously he's been in the league a, a while now. Um, he's got 19 points in, or not, yeah, he's got 19 points in 18 games, four goals, 15 assists. Last season he had 27 points total, 13 points and 14 assists, so he's already got more assists than he had all of last year and also the year prior. So he had 13 assists. In 1920, uh, 2021, he had 14. This year, he has 15 and 15 or in 18 games. So, um, yeah, and he's had he's he's had a couple of years in Minnesota where he had 69 points, 67 points. But other than those two seasons, he hasn't had a 50 point season in his career. So, again, this might be a guy that you can get now for the short term. Maybe he'll continue in the short term. Um, but as far as being a long-term solution, it's possible because he could have another 60 point year. He's done it before. So, but you have to obviously, you know, consider the fact that this would be a pretty breakthrough season again, if you were to continue this, their next five games, Colorado or Nashville's next five games are Vegas, New Jersey, Colorado, Columbus, Boston, and their sixth game is Montreal. So you know, depending on the schedule, you know, that could be another guy that you might want to pick up if you need the forward help. And the last, last guy is Alex Kilhorn. He's got 17 points in 18 games played on Tampa Bay. Obviously, we all know Tampa Bay is a very good team, obviously. Their next five games are Seattle, Minnesota, St. Louis, back-to-back, -back, and then Boston. And if you want to extend that, they're actually they're they actually go on quite a bit of a road trip here, starting on December fourth. They're at Boston, like I said, at Philly, at Montreal, at Toronto, and at Ottawa. 
So this is another guy that you might want to consider. He's never had a 50-point year. His best was 49 points, 26 goals, 23 assists in 2019-2020, where he played 68 games. And that was his best goal-scoring season as well. He had 26. Uh, and prior to that, he'd never topped uh, 19. Um, but he's, he's fairly consistent being in the teens. Um, you know, he had 17, 15, 14, 19, 15, 18, 26, and then 15. So you can probably assume that he'll get it at least in the teens. Um, but again, 17 points in 18 games. Probably not going to get you a point a game. But who knows? I mean, he could have a, you know, 50, 60 point season. And especially like, you know, I mean, he's not going to be your Alex Ovechkin or your you know, you're Sidney Crosby, but he might give you some added depth that you really need on the back end of your roster. So depending on what you think of their schedule coming up, things like that, you know, these three guys might be, might be uh, of service to you guys. So, um, so yeah, other than that, uh, no games tomorrow, obviously, because of the holiday, but it's a pretty packed day today. And then Friday and Saturday looks like it's, uh, it's pretty packed as well. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys are uh, doing well. Happy holidays, starting out with Thanksgiving. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking me out. Appreciate it.